up everyone so today we're here in Koh Rong the main island we came here yesterday from Koh Rong San Loam uh, we got the 12 o'clock boat here cost about five dollars I think it's around like a 50 minute ride so really close right now I'm just on the balcony of our little hut bungalow we're staying in a place called Island Palace and it was only $22 so I'll just show you it quickly it's a pretty cool place so this is our balcony here we have um, this cool hammock here that I haven't used and yeah really nice jungle surrounding the beach is just like five seconds down here so really close also got all these other bungalows nearby around 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. we were woken up by some noise of some animal and then when I came out this morning he's completely destroyed the cushion <laughs> crazy I don't know what animal it was, it was pitch black, so neither of us wanted to check it out. I'll show you the inside quickly. So, really spacious hut, probably the biggest hut we've ever stayed in. Got two uh, queen size beds, much needed uh, mosquito bug net, because here is open, so yeah, you probably get a lot of bugs. Only a fan room, but it's pretty cool at night anyway and in here got also a pretty big bathroom not bad at all so here's a shot of our bungalow from the outside look how cool that looks So here is the main beach here in front of our bungalow. Another absolutely insane white beach, just like on Korong San Loam. Here's the pier that we came in on. Got all the fishing boats. Loads of boat trips around here apparently, snorkeling trips. And this is pretty much the main area, so there's loads of like guest houses, restaurants, hostels and stuff and kind of like the main road here but still a very laid back spot amazing looking water once again you can already even see the the fish it's so transparent probably do some snorkeling later on and we're just gonna have breakfast in one of these places here and then we'll probably head down there So we found a pretty awesome spot to chill out at on the beach. It's a pretty small beach. I think you could walk it all in about five minutes probably. And this is how it looks from here. Absolutely beautiful. Nobody really here.
And yesterday I actually checked the price of some of these bungalows. We was asking the people how much and um, some of the places were saying around like $45 for the ones facing the beach. So yeah, I guess not that, that bad the price and it is pretty much peak season still in, in February. So yeah, if you want one of those cool places around $45 or so maybe a bit more. Yeah, these islands are just too good. I know I keep saying that, but they really are. It's just like non-stop dream beaches. These are the kind of beaches I would have dreamed of for sure. <laughs> yeah, so good. And there in the distance, you can see the island we were on before, Korong San Loam. And we were actually on this side here, this coast. So yeah, it is very close. They even seem to have some other little islands here. Can see some fish around here, so yeah, I'm probably gonna get the goggles soon. I can see some rocks over there, so maybe a good spot to snorkel. I don't know. to these rocks at the end of the beach gonna see if there's any good snorkeling spots around here still seems kind of shallow though yeah look how nice the view looks from this side at the end of the beach with the rocks unbelievable What, you think there's no fish? There's more trash than fish. More trash than fish? Yeah. Well, that's not good. Oh yeah, there is trash. To be honest, I didn't mention before, I only noticed when Carol said um, this beach here, the water is actually kind of full of oil, unfortunately, because of the, the pier, right? The port. So probably the next beach we go on later on will be uh, cleaner. I hope so anyway. What is all that trash? Yeah, we're hoping that maybe further out there there's there's less track where it gets deeper. This part here is kind of like a swimming pool, the color. Swimming pool blue. 
We're gonna head to the next beach, which is the beach all the way back there, and it's called 4K Beach. It's supposed to be a really big one. So I think we can go around these rocks. It's that beach all the way in the distance. Should be a good one. Got the tour guide here. <laughs> you can actually walk on a trail inside though. We're just going the adventurous way. So we've come to some other beach here. This isn't the one we're going to. It's the one in the middle. But look at this place, insane. Got some tree houses up here as well. Look at that for accommodation. Must be expensive. As you're walking around, you'll literally just see these uh, huts, the accommodations everywhere. So even back here, mixed with all these rocks, you can see all these different cool places to stay. So yesterday we actually walked all the way um, down here, but a lot of the places were fully booked. Usually we always just book on Airbnb or booking.com, but we decided to try and just um, go in person without booking beforehand because you can get cheaper places. But yeah, it ended up being a bit of a nightmare because it ended up being us walking around for about 40, 50 minutes with our big heavy backpacks on and we couldn't find anywhere. And then we ended up heading back to the city and we found that place, which was still pretty cheap anyway. Cheaper than it was online. We saved a, a few dollars. So we've made it. Trail was probably only around 15 minutes. Look at this. I'm not even going to act surprised anymore. This is kind of the level that we were expecting. And it's called 4K Beach because it's four kilometers long. So yeah, huge one, insane. Even the, the dogs are loving it. Let's speak to Doggo. Hello. Hello. Hey, Doggo, over there. I think this is probably one of the best beaches we've been to on this on these islands so far. Yeah, this and Saracen Bay. Yeah, and Saracen Bay. It's kind of similar to Saracen Bay. So Saracen Bay was on that island over there, Sam Loam. But yeah, it was kind of just as good as this part. It almost looks like the sandbars, right? Yeah, almost the sandbars. Yeah. Because it's so shallow here. So look at that, we've got sandbars here and motorbikers.
Yeah, so it's about 1 p.m. now, so we've got ages to stay here. We're just gonna spend the rest of the day on this beach. <laughs> Definitely don't wanna leave this place. Easily is some of the best islands I've ever been to. Might be the two best islands I've ever been to. Just so amazing around here. And here there's pretty much no hotels at all. There's just a few hostels, I think. So you can stay around here. There's actually people in tents over there. So yeah, you can even camp here if you if you want to. And the boat does bring you here. Um, it was one of the options to, to be brought here. So yeah, we almost actually stayed around here. Would have been good, right? <laughs> Yeah. Maybe too secluded, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. The only negative side of this part, this island, uh, compared to the other Korong and Olam, is the trash, I think. We didn't see any trash in the other island, but here we see everywhere, even here. Yeah, even this part. Yeah, which yeah. is a shame. Yeah, it is a shame. I don't know why they don't clean it up a bit better like the, the other ones. But yeah, besides that, definitely paradise. Don't let go Chasing a bitch What do you do? Ooh. Don't let go Chasing a bitch What do you do? Ooh, ooh. So we come to this beach restaurant here, GG Seafood Restaurant and Bar. And prices aren't too bad really for a juice, $1.50 or $2. How much is that? Coke, $1. All the sodas. Um, beer, $1. What? Caipiri, a Brazilian alcohol drink, $3. <laughs> French fries, two dollar fifty. What else? Fried rice with chicken or pork, three dollars. Pretty cheap. What are you getting? Tuna spaghetti. Tuna spaghetti. Four dollars. Why is that? All right, four dollars. So yeah, a lot of the spaghetti dishes around three, four dollars. You get a burger as well, four dollars. So pretty good prices since we're right on the beach. And I think I'm gonna go for the Pad Thai Tofu. Cheap dish, $3. Come to the last stop of the of the day, I think so anyway, uh, which is this, I don't know, river or lake, I think it's a river. I actually only saw it on the on the drone shots, I didn't even know this was here, right behind the beach. It would probably be cool to kayak down, maybe you can kayak here, I'm not sure, looks like a good kayak spot.
So I'm gonna close this video out now. The sun's gonna go down soon. The sun sets on the opposite side of the island, so not gonna be much of a, a sunset here, unfortunately. And we've just come a bit further down on the beach. It's quite a bit deeper here, so the color, yeah, isn't as nice as the part that we were at before. And we almost stayed at this place. So it's called Reef on the Beach, these uh, white tents here. And how much did you say it was, Carol? I think for three nights, it was around $50. $50 for three nights? Yeah, it was not the, the beach, the, the beachfront ones. But oh, behind. Yeah, you would still be able to see the ocean. <laughs> yeah, you'd still be staying right on the beach. Would be a pretty interesting experience. Um, might get a bit hot and uncomfortable, I guess, being in a tent, but yeah, it'd be cool having this in your front garden or whatever you want to call it. And here's been relatively cheap, I think. Um, I haven't really mentioned the overall prices. So like today, we're probably going to spend about $50 overall. So 22 on the accommodation. And each meal is about $10 overall, $5 each. And that's including breakfast. So yeah, on food, it's about $30 or maybe a bit less. And on the uh, accommodation, um, yeah, 20, 22. So it's around $50. So really good price to be in paradise, right? I remember when we when we traveled the US, I think $50 was the price of just some crappy motel in the middle of nowhere. So over on this side of the world, $50 will get you this. <laughs> Pretty insane. So I think this might be our last video from here in Cambodia. We are on this island tomorrow, but the weather forecast saying that it's thunderstorms all the way during the day. So I don't think we're gonna do much more exploring. There's many other beaches to see here obviously probably just as amazing as this but yeah we just had an amazing time in Cambodia overall the Angkor Wat obviously uh, Kampot was super relaxing and then these two islands that we've been to have just been absolutely mind-blowing so amazing place to to visit for sure so as always just drop a like on this video to support us follow us on Instagram if you want to see where we're traveling to in real time subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more videos like this one and we'll see you in the next one. See you later, mate. See you later. <laughs>